Hey everybody, I'm Jill Cab with Healthy Facts Inc. And today we're just gonna make a lovely chia pudding for a yummy sweet when you need a little sweet. Chia is so good for you. It's packed with wonderful omega-3s and I keep mine in the freezer. So what we're gonna do today is just put some of the, um, whatever kind of, you know, non-dairy milk is my preference. This is the almond milk and some mangoes. You can use any kind of fruit, you know how it is. And then I put some dates in there too. I had some dates, dates soaking just to uh, help with the blender situation. I'm using just a dash of cardamom because I have it and cardamom is yummy. And then a little bit of maple syrup. Why? Because I really like sweet. And this is a sweet treat. We're looking for something really sweet. So it's just gonna help um, really make this feel like a yummy dessert. So the trick with the chia pudding is the seeds are gonna really expand and take on um, all the liquid. It just takes a little time. I'm gonna blend this. Okay, just gonna pour our mango milk mixture, mango milk mixture, let's say that a bunch of times. And then we're gonna stir in our chia or whisk in our chia. Then, um, you want to put this in the refrigerator and then if you can, you know, whisk it or stir it, you know, a couple times maybe before you go to bed, then you're good to go. It should be, that'll just help with the clumping situation. And in the morning, you'll have this lovely pudding. You can top it with more berries. You know, your kids should hopefully enjoy it. Start those kids early on the healthy stuff. Okay, I'll show you the final product when it's all congealed a bit and the seeds have taken on all that liquid. Here's the chia pudding after being in the fridge. Oh, maybe five hours, four hours. So this wasn't even needed to be overnight. And I scooped some into a bowl, added a little mango, and that is going to be delicious. Good and good for you. I'm Jill Keb with Healthy Facts Inc. Thanks for watching.